isn't bolted down. I'll keep an eye out for Falwin. Tinklebot, I don't know why you're obsessed with me stealing from me. Plus, I have to question your motives. I mean, you have no visible means of transportation. You only know me. What is your plan here? Hello and welcome to that thing where I talk about video games that I've already reviewed but in article form for Chris the Nerd's Game Review number 80, Destiny the Dark Below for the PS4. I do not have a case for it. But I do have this expansion pass picture thing because I foolishly purchased this. It's like the next worst thing. I'm your host, Chris the Nerd, and for those of you who don't know, I write game reviews, and these videos exist essentially to abridge them into one short video because words! <laughs> what are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. With that said, let us begin. Now some of you might have noticed something very important with this review. How can I possibly talk about Destiny's expansion without first talking about the main game? I don't have a legitimate answer for that yet, but I'm sure when I do, it'll be a big joke. Anyway. Destiny The Dark Below is the first expansion pack for the most popular mediocre game ever created. For $20, you can take part in a whopping three story missions, two strike missions, unless of course you were a moron who bought it on an Xbox console, then you get one new strike mission. That'll be $20, please. Now go fuck yourself. A raid mission and some new maps for the PvP part of the game. For the purposes of this buffoonery, I will be focusing on the story aspects. You are the almighty chosen one. Chosen one, of course, in a group of 100,000, or however many idiots are still playing this crap. And you must defeat the galaxy-ending bad guy, Crota. He is super evil, and he's gonna destroy stuff. His motivation is that, uh, um, huh. Well, he's really big, he has a ludicrously large health bar, and he's got an evil army of moon monsters. I guess his motivation is that there was really nothing else for him to do. It's kind of sad, really. In these three story missions, did I mention that this was $20? You pay $20 to get three missions. I wanted to make sure that I covered that. You will take on a couple of Crota's generals who differ in no way from the regular enemies in the game, other than the fact that their health bars are a different color. Not kidding. Then you fight Crota himself, except you don't. Instead, now hold on to your butts here, you fight a Chaos Emerald that has Crota's face superimposed on it. Hooray? If you actually want to defeat Crota himself, you need to find five other people who are still willing to play this war of attrition called Destiny. And then you've got to take part in the raid mission, which is the part of the game that it actually prides itself on. Like a man going to Denny's, eating everything in sight, then going out to the parking lot, taking a dump in the parking lot, then as the distressed patrons watch, he turns to his creation and goes, it ain't that bad. And if you haven't guessed, I don't have five other friends who are still willing to play Destiny. Hell, I don't even want to play Destiny. Overall, this expansion takes the word expansion and redefines it. Now, the actual definition of expansion is the act of becoming more extensive or larger. Destiny the Dark Below defines expansion as the act of becoming the same while pretending that there is more. I give it Chris the Nerd seal of oh, oh. Oh, like Gladiator, you just got Joaquin Phoenixed. Approval. So, thank you for watching. If you'd like to read my full review of Destiny the Dark below, you can read it on geekvision.tv. And now you have even more reason to do so, because recently, for the site's third anniversary, they had a redesign, and it looks like a shiny new penny. It's also really easy to find great content on there, like mine. Hopefully the site runners will give me 20 bucks for that plug, so that way I can use it to purchase the new Destiny expansion, House of Wolves, which will definitely be shitting itself onto my PS4's hard drive any day now. If you'd like to see more videos like this, give the channel a subscribe or check out the last video I did on Halo the Master Chief Collection. Now for the totally necessary viewer question. What do you want to see improved for House of Wolves and future Destiny expansions, if of course you're still playing the game? Or are you totally content with what Bungie has done so far? Let me know down below, and I will see you guys next time.